Hello Betty, so today is my summer besties tag and I officially tag everyone who sees this to do it. So just get out your favorite products, post a comment, um, post a video response and show me what your favorites are. Um, I was actually requested to do this video, so I'm gonna try to do it and I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, the first thing is what's my favorite summer lip product and mine is a Dazzle Glass Moth to Flame and I've absolutely been loving this and the reason why is because for summer I like really really light things. Tonight's night so I'm kind of going all out. But, um, for summer days, I really, really like to be light and airy and just all sorts of pretty things. So I go for a lot of nudes, a lot of pinks, a couple light reds uh, if I'm going for like a sailor look. But the perfect thing about this is that it can be worn over lip gloss, under lip gloss, I'm sorry, over lipstick, under lipstick, um, without lipstick, you name it. And it's like the perfect color. It'll dazzle up any lipstick you want. It's perfect just by itself if you're in a rush. Um, it's always been kind of a favorite of mine, but especially for this season, it's my go-to. And this is actually my second one. Um, I have a lot of Dazzle Glasses, so I usually don't rebuy Dazzle Glasses. But this one I absolutely love, so I know this is a summer bestie. Second one is your favorite blush. And I was originally going to choose Albatross by NARS, because it is such um, a light, airy, kind of golden sheen, and it glows. It's so pretty, but it's more of a highlight, so it doesn't count as a blush. My favorite blush would be... Um, I'm not going to really say it because it's kind of bad, um, Super O by NARS, and this is kind of the duo to the original NARS one, and the reason why is because this is completely glittery. The first one goes good with absolutely everything I wear, no matter what my makeup look is, and this one does the exact same thing, only it does it with a ton of glitter. And for summer, I really like light stuff, um, really easy to apply, nothing too heavy. Um, and this is just that, and the glitter just gives me a shine and a glow that I cannot get enough of because I don't tan, so I don't have like this summer glow. So I love to use really small amounts of glitter to really just brighten up my complexion. And it makes me look sun-kissed anyway, so. Um, my nail... My favorite nail polish and product is, of course, the one by OPI. And you guys kind of figured out I'm kind of an OPI junkie, sorry about that. Um, is that all I'll ever mention? Hopefully not. But this is just what I've been loving. This is Curry Up, Don't Be Late from the Indian Collection. And of course, if you guys saw my I'm Coming Back video, you know about my Punjabi Man of My Dreams. Um, so this is just something I've been loving. Also, it goes good with just about anything I wear. It's a nice yellow. It's fresh for summer. Normally, I like reds. I'm not really a big fan of pinks. But um, for summer, I really just like to be big to get up. And this is kind of works for like a nude on my toes, stuff like that. And I just think it's kind of a step out of the box and still a really pretty golden yellow color. But it's not overwhelming. It doesn't show up this bright on your nails. And I love it. Not to mention curry food is the best. My favorite liquid face makeup is actually the Aqua Girl, bleh, Cover Girl Aqua Smoothers. And I am not always a huge fan of drugstore makeup. But because of my acne, because of my routine, um, because of all that stuff. Sorry if I'm like slowly scooting towards the camera. Um, because of all my acne and stuff like that, this is what I've been using. Reason why is because it's water soluble and helps me get everything off. If you guys want to see my daily foundation routine with this, I'll post it. And if you guys want to see what my acne used to look like, um, basically this is what covers what's left of it is what's helped me clear it up so much. And it's also water soluble so I can really get it off. Now, if I'm going to go swimming or something, I like my other foundation, which is the one I use for waterproof makeup. And I have a tutorial for that, so be sure to click or go over and check it out. My favorite face powder has been the Urban Decay face powder in the Illusion color and the reason why is because it gives me absolutely beautiful full coverage but at the same time it still keeps me feeling light so I don't feel like I have caked and caked up makeup on my face. Um, I do not like bare essentials for summer. A lot of people have been asking that. I do not like it. It makes me so oily. Ew. Definitely though, you do want to apply something with sunscreen. I like to apply my Elite MD. Um, Sonia Badrisha is the most amazing doctor ever. Sonia Badrisha Bonshaw MD. Most amazing dermatologist in the world. She was on a TV show called The Doctors. Um, aired all over, basically I think United States. But she is fabulous. She has fixed my skin so much and her sunscreen is the number one sunscreen I could ever recommend to anyone. And I'm not just saying that just because of being biased, no. This is what has worked for me. She has helped me clear my acne so much and I absolutely would die for that product. There's another one. The reason why is because it has such a high zinc level. Um, it's like, I think it's about like 17%. The closest one I've seen in stores is 14, which is still really good. But it's the highest I've found and it works so well for me. It does kind of leave me white and chalky that I do not like. Um, but definitely go check that out because you guys need sunscreen. Every day. No matter what. That's all. 
favorite hair product for summer. Actually really, really weird. Um, you guys know that I like my hair lighter in the summer and darker in the winter. Redder in the fall and pinker in the spring. Um, so my favorite summer hair product, a lemon. Uh, yes, a lemon. And the reason why is because you roll it to get 3%, 30% more juice out. Did you know that? That's like a third. Anyways, um, basically when you apply this to your hair and you go sit out in the sun or you're just walking day to day, it will lighten your hair. And it is absolutely, is this really annoying that it's clinking because it's really bugging me? I'm just going to take it off. Um, it has never bothered me before. Like, what's up with that? Maybe it's because it's so quiet here. It's like at night and it's like, ooh, I hear crickets, which means it's supposed to be super, super quiet. And then I hear my clinking and I feel like I'm totally out of the box. Anyways, not out of the box, but like out of the league. You know, I'm like, get with the picture. And then I'm like all hyper while everyone else is asleep. So it makes me feel even more awkward. Anyways, um, I love this. It makes my hair light, makes it shiny. I just have to remember to do like a really deep conditioning treatment afterwards so I don't get dry, split, icky ends. That's all. My favorite eye product for summer is actually a MAC pigment. And the reason why this one is in Reflecting Bronze, the reason why is because I love to mix this. I can mix it with any of my other pigments, make it lighter, make it darker, but no matter what, it gives me a really nice yellowy, goldeny, coppery tone and gives it shine. And I love having glitter on my eyes for summer. Perfect summer sunset looks, um, summer day looks, summer night looks, you name it. You can just do so much with it. Um, it's been my absolute favorite just for the season. So if you guys want to learn more about MAC pigments or see kind of how to press them, etc, etc, or all the uses you can do for summer, winter, fall, spring, any time of the year, um, be sure to go check out the video that I have so you guys can go see and learn and do it yourselves. My favorite tanning product for summer is actually bronzer. Why? It's actually not bronzer. It's foundation from Bare Essentials that is just way too dark for me. A um, reason why is because I don't tan, I don't like tanning products, anything like that. Actually, my favorite would be spray tan because I never do it, but for like photo shoots and modeling stuff I do. Um, but basically, this, I can mix it with my moisturizer and it gives it SPF and a nice glow without making me feel overwhelmed. And I really don't like the tan look, that's just not me. Um, but certain days on summer I want it, so this is what I use, both on my face, on a brush, as bronzer, and then I mix it in with all my stuff and put it on. And then I take my Fix Plus that has glitter in it and spray it all over me, and then I feel all glittery that matches my lips and my eyes and my blush. Yay! Favorite accessory for summer is definitely my sunglasses. And the reason why is because these can be worn just about anywhere. Of course I wear them just like regular sunglasses, but I like to wear them on my head. It poofs my hair really nice, and then I like to wear them, of course, normally. Um, I also tuck them into my shirt, and it like, kind of hangs there, makes any shirt a v-neck. Um, super fun, super cute, and super UV protection for my eyes. So, that's what I like. And last but not least is clothing, and I actually have quite a few things to talk about. Um, for summer, I have been obsessed with runway fashion and I have just been trying to incorporate that into my daily style, into my routine, everything just so that I can be as runway chic as possible. Um, and I have done so many blogs on it so go check out the blog right now if you guys want to see how you can do it, what the runway is doing, how to put it into your style without looking crazy, etc, etc. So I'm going to go over, I was really having a hard time picking these out, I was like oh my gosh which one do I choose because I love so many. So I took like the three or four main categories of style that I'm enjoying and then took the things that I've worn over seven times. So all these I've worn over seven times, so I know I love them. Um, first, this is actually something that my great, great, great grandma wore. Um, it's an antique, really Victorian um, silk shirt, and it's very old. And basically, something that's been trending on the runways is pajama wear. Pajama wear is basically this light, airy, flowy clothing. A lot of it's see-through, which I would not recommend, because you see y'all stuff on the runway, and you're like, whoa, I didn't want to see that. But um, Basically, um, really light, airy stuff. And because it's summer, I love light, I love airy. Um, lace has been totally in. The light, it's so airy, you can layer it over just about anything, including swimwear. Um, even though I don't, just because it's so delicate. But you can layer it over just about anything. Uh, and this applies to other shirts as well. This is just the one I chose. And, um, yeah, basically incorporates pajama wear from the runway into your style. Um, the next thing, as you can probably tell I've been loving, is color blocking. And what that is, is basically taking huge amounts of color and pairing them all sorts of ways. For instance, this is a red shirt. Um, I would probably pair them with bright pink heels, um, probably bright blue bands, and a bright green kind of clutch wallet. And it's basically taking these huge chunks of color and just throwing them together. And really, really vibrant colors I've been loving during the summer. So that is a summer bestie. <laughs> 
Um, also, I have been loving clutches for summer. I cannot stand my purse anymore. All of my purses, I'm just like really, I have these huge tote bags that I just lug around all day long, and I've just been getting really sick of them. So honestly, as bad as it is, I bring my tote bag with all my crap, throw it in the trunk, and this is also just basically what I take with me. Take all my crap in there, and then I'll take out my ID, some money, just basically what I need for wherever I'm going, and flop it in here. So that way I feel reassured if I need something, I can still go to the trunk and get it. But um, if not, I can use this. And then of course, this is a bright color, great for color blocking, all sorts of things. Um, so yeah, I've been loving strapless handbags, basically clutches, um, a lot. And they go day or night, depending on how you dress them. So win-win. Next thing I've been loving that you guys have probably been able to tell is a lot of strapless tank tops. And um, I usually am not a strapless tank, blah, blah, I am usually not a strapless tank top person. Um, but this summer, I've just been using them all the time because it's been between 90 and 100 degrees here because California weather just does not like to cool down and it's really, really awful. Um, I usually hate, you know, strappy spaghetti straps, but I've been loving them. And this is one that I just bought. Um, I got it from Prada. It's silk. And I love v-necks. Um, I have all these spaghetti straps that are just cut straight across. But I have been loving them in really bright colors, and this is a really silky material, and honestly, it feels just like the pajama wear to me, and I've actually worn them underneath each other for a really nice effect. Um, layering textures, patterns, things like that. Um, it has been a summer bestie for me. Honestly, this one I love, and I have been wearing a ton of other tank tops in brighter colors, and just airy, wispy things that make me feel just really free, not sweaty, all sorts of stuff. My last summer bestie favorite thing would be patterns, and I have been loving patterns, stripes, um, of course colors, and nautical. I've been obsessed with nautical sailor wears in blues, reds, whites, all sorts of things. And this is a BCBG dress that has this gorgeous decoration embellishments that's totally reminded me of nauticalness. And I put on my little sailor hat and I feel so good with little gold accessories. Um, anyways, it's also a pattern, which I've been loving patterns to death. It's a brighter color. It's light, it's airy, it's easy to wear. It looks amazing in the back. Um, and it's honestly one of my summer besties. So I have worn this probably 12 to 15 times. I've done photo shoots in it. Um, one of my favorites. And I have just been running around with it all day long. So I know that, that was a lot for the end. If you guys want to see more fashion, seriously, right now, go check out the blog. I mean, it's unbelievable. And uh, there's tips and tricks on how to put it into your wardrobe and what you can do. Um, all sorts of fun stuff. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. <sighs> what am I talking about? I bet I say that too much. That's why I just said it, because I said it too much. I hope that you guys enjoy this tag, and I tag absolutely all of you to do it too. So, mwah, I love you so much. Mwah. I love you guys to death, and I can't wait to talk to you guys in the next video. Be sure to click subscribe so that you're updated when I post more tutorials. And um, by the way, all of your video suggestions and requests, I'm getting to them. So keep on posting them, I'll keep on doing them. Um, and click subscribe so you guys can get the updates first. And I will talk to you later. Bye.